Hi there, this is Dan Qualley again. We have here my second version of a lensless generator. And uh, it's fairly large, it's two foot diameter there. Put a bunch of magnets around on the top. And it's got a rotor. Just gotta put one coil on. I quit after one coil as I realized that I had to make a better version. And the reason was because all these magnets and all these inductors create drag. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I went to the ring magnets. But let's show you that it does work. Here we are, we're set up on the bolts. And the volts range there, and a little spin it. I put a little crank on it because yeah, it's easy to do. A little starter spinning, and this works like my other one. You spin it. Oops. And. And puts out some bolts. It's identical coils I used in the other version uh, on the uh, ring magnets. And I'll put about the same if I get it up there. It's 28 gauge wire wrapped around a three and a half inch hardware bolt. Not real good, efficient, and you know, not good at making electricity. Anyway. It does the, uh, let's see, oops, all right, milliamps, there we go, we're in the milliamp range, just spinning it around, there we go, so, it works, just not good enough for me. And we'll it down. And as you'll notice, the orientation of the inductors are offset. And of course, the magnets on the top repel against the magnets that are on the bottom. And of course, by blocking and unblocking the magnets from the top and the bottom, that's how we induce our electricity in the uh, coil. And you notice there's quite a bit of distance. It's about an inch between the bottom magnets and uh, three quarters of an inch between the top and the top magnet and the top uh, of the uh, coil. Not real balanced, but well, it was a crude attempt. There you go. That was lensless generator version number two. And I had these extra magnets up here for, I was going to make a motor turn it, but I decided it wasn't worth it. And there you go. Thank you very much. And bye-bye.